Hello and welcome back to Guided Hacking, this is Fred HK and today we're going to be taking a look at binary comparison. Bindiv is a comparison tool for binary files that helps to quickly find differences and similarities in disassembled code. And it's used by security researchers and engineers across the globe to identify and isolate fixes for vulnerabilities in vendor supplied patches and analyze multiple versions of the same binary. And the way Bindiv works is it uses either decompilations and then compares the two. So within Bindiff, you just need to create a new workspace. I've already created a workspace for two binaries. At first, we can see that the functions match with 86% match and the similarity of the two files is 0.86. We can look at the call graphs and get a bit more information, such as the previously matching 86% of functions, calls are matching as well, and instructions and jumps are also matching with 70% and 70.2%. But what if we want to see functions that have changed? Well, we can click into the match functions, which are functions that appear in both binaries. And then we can look at the similarity here on the left. All of these functions completely match between the two binaries. But if we scroll down, we'll see that similarity decrease. And then we can see functions that have been changed. Clicking into this function here, that is a 0.92 similarity. We can see a comparison between the two instructions within the two binaries. So we can see within the first binary, which is 0.77, that there have been a few move functions within the binary and an XOR function, but this has all been changed to a push function and a few XOR functions. So you can use this tool to do complete comparisons of the two binaries. And you also have all kinds of different views that you can use to compare the two files. This is great, but what if we wanted to use Bindiff within something like IDA? Well, by installing Bindiff, it will automatically install a plugin into IDA that you can use to do comparisons. And to do this, all you need to do is analyze one version of a file and then open the PDB of a second file to do the comparison. And then it'll do all of the diffing for you straight in IDA. Then once that's completed, you can see the comparison that you would have seen within the Bindiff tool. But this is all done in IDA. And you can scroll down and see all of the similarity differences as well and do what you normally would. Although this comparison isn't as easy and clear as the Bindiff tool. So how can we make these comparisons of two binaries much easier and clear within IDA? Well, there's a plugin for that. But before I tell you about it, here's a word from Guided Hacking. The plugin to solve this issue is Diaphora. And Diaphora is an advanced program diffing tool that works within IDA as a plugin. I mentioned it within my top five IDA plugins, but within this video, we'll go into a bit more detail. So it has functionalities such as differentiating assembler, control flow graphs, similarity ratio calculation, and then also parallel diffing and pseudocode diffing as well, which is super useful if you're used to doing your analysis within pseudocode. All you have to do is you just need to download the release and you can run it from within IDA and you'll get some output such as you can see within the screenshots. You also have all kinds of different documentation here, which will show you through how to use the plugin but I'll give you a quick demo now. I've downloaded Diaphora here and within IDA, all you need to do is click on the script file, click into Diaphora and open diaphora.py. Then you do this with an open file and what you want to be doing is exporting an IDA file to a SQLite file that you can then diff with. But before we go and do that, I first want to show how this can be applied to ransomware and malware analysis. Here I have a version of Conti open within IDA and it's very common within ransomware users to copy and paste different family code and then create a whole new ransomware out of somebody else's code. So here we have Conti and we're gonna use Diaphora with it. 
So what we'll do is we'll just open Diaphora with the analysis of Conti open, and then we can export that file into a SQLite file and compare it to another malware that claims to be different but is actually Conti. And I'll show you how we know that in a second. Now that the SQLite is finished, all we need to do is open IDA up with the other comparison file, and we will simply analyze that within IDA. And once that is complete, we can just run Diaphora again. And then all we need to do is simply just import the other SQL file of Conti. Then once you have both SQL files open, you can simply just tick some of these options. Usually I leave them as they are and click OK. And then that will diff the two files. And once that's finished, we get the same kind of matching between the two files that we're used to seeing within Bindiff. We can see that there are unmatched files within the secondary file and unmatched files within the primary file. So these are functions that don't appear in one or the other. There are some unreliable matches where the plugin has had some issues. And we have some nice coloring here so that we can see where the issues may lie, especially within the ratio here. Then we can go on partial matches, which has some partial matches between the two files. So they have some code similarity, but they're not completely 100% the same. And then within best matches, we can see all kinds of different code similarity. And scrolling through these, we're already beginning to see that they share a lot of code with one another. And we can look through something like the partial matches to see more of that. I'm going to go into main and I'm going to compare the two. So if I wanted to compare two functions, I just right click on a function and then I can just go to diff pseudocode and that will give me the difference between the two pieces of pseudocode. And we can see that it's got some matching code here and we can go to other common and similar functionalities and do the same. And you'll see that only a few different parameters and variables within this disassembly change. We can also do things such as diff assembly in a graph, and this will show us a nice graph view of the difference between those two functions. And then we can also go and diff using an external tool or show pseudocode patch and this will just show some different patching within the pseudocode all in one window instead of having this side by side. As you can see, this is incredibly useful to analyze different binaries and compare the two. I hope that you enjoyed this video and until the next one, goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, a like would help a lot and subscribe to be notified of future uploads. If you haven't already, check out guidedhacking.com for a step-by-step -step introduction to game hacking and an ever-growing catalog of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.